In today's video, I'm going to show you how to gradient a font just like this. So we're going to first start out by going onto Canva and opening a blank page. Then you're going to go into the app section on the left side. You'll see that it's on the trending. Um, however, if it's not on the trending, it is called type gradient. So you're just going to want to type that into the search bar and it will come up and it looks like that. Now you're going to think about what you want the text to say. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using today is a great day. And a lot of times when I am doing my text, I capitalize them, but that is completely up to you. Personally, I feel like it's easier to read when they're capitalized, but again, completely up to you. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is change the alignment to the middle. I personally like this as a preference, but the first one is you're gonna center it off to the left. The second one is that you're gonna be putting in the middle and the third one is you're gonna be putting off to the right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find a font. Just like my text, I try to make it as bold as possible. However, in today's video, I kinda of wanna make it more fun. So I'm actually gonna be picking our ambery garden. It kind of has a more flowy vibe. Um, it's a little bit more silly than I usually go for. Usually when I'm doing something for my business or for YouTube, I like to make it very bold. Now, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do before I change the gradient is I'm going to change the line height. So before you might've seen that the letters were actually combining, they were like going over each other. So when you change the line height, that will solve that issue. Now there's three dots on here. This is where you can change the gradient. So if I were to click in the middle of one dot, you can see that the color wheel comes up and I can change whatever color I would like. This is where the ombre effect or the gradient is going to come in because say I want to go from pink to blue, it's going to have a nice purple in the middle because if you were to combine those two colors, it would make purple. Also, if you hear squeaking, it's my newborn. I'm sorry. I had to go grab her. <laughs> Say you want more than just three colors. After I finished up choosing my colors, all I have to go ahead and do is go onto that line and click anywhere on there and another circle will pop up. So like you might have seen in the thumbnail, I had like six or seven of them. I was having way too much fun doing it. Say you don't want the dark blue to be all the way at the end. All you have to do is click and hold the circles and drag them and you can actually change where that circle or that color would be on your gradient. The last thing that you're going to go ahead and do is you can change the little circles that are on the preview and this is going to change the gradient. So if I bring that down, you'll see the pink kind of comes at an angle and if I can come back it goes back to a straight line same thing with the bottom circle so you can kind of play with this and see where you want your gradient to go on your text but in today's video i'm actually going to make it comp a straight line because i just think it looks very clean this way still again a preference and then i'm going to bring that circle all the way down so that dark blue is not as extreme and then I'm gonna go down to the purple box that says add to design and it will pop up on my page. Now say I really liked it, but I kind of want the pink on the top to be a little bit more extreme. All you have to go ahead and do is click back on to the text and it will load that same exact kind of information back up and you can change where the pink is. So I'm gonna drag it back down and the pink will be a little bit more extreme. And then I'm gonna go back down to that purple box and now it says update element. And I'm gonna click that and it has updated. That is all I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.